raise the largest amount of capital in the world as a startup is Flipkart in, in Bangalore, not in Silicon Valley. The entire business model of Flipkart is centered around India. So they raised a billion dollars and the only other company who has raised more money than them is Uber at 1.2 billion dollars. So the question is, which is the country with the highest population of youngsters? It's India. Which is the country with now most amount of mobile phones? I mean, we are already number two. It's India. So the question really is that we all get obsessed with Silicon Valley because we see and hear a lot about that more and we are reading all about it. But the reality is that there is so much happening in India and this is the time to build. So it is it is like saying that if we if there were no Bollywood movies and we only watched Hollywood movies, what would we think of this world? What would Indians or us as a country perceive the world? We would all think here yeah, it is final or you know the or so if you that's what Hollywood is. And when you look at Bollywood, it's a completely different environment. So when you look at Indian startups, you have to really see the difference in flavor. Of course, both are equally big. And Shah Rukh Khan is a lot bigger than 500 Hollywood actors put together. Similarly, uh, you can't compare Silicon Valley and India or Bombay or Bangalore because I would say that opportunity is everywhere. How you really seize the opportunity is really the difference. It was a mental block. And if you have this mental block, Please remember Modi is in power, so Achhe din aage. You don't have to leave India anyway. Yeah, I think we should give him a picture of this. Who died? Then after you, Silicon Valley, you're not going to go, right? Pata nahi. Yeah. Is it a smart or a dumb question? Hey, I think it's a dumb question also, right? Why should I be telling that to you? Hmm? It was too dumb, I mean. <laughs> Actually, I will qualify as a dumb question. Okay, what is a smart or a dumb question? Asking me what I am going to do in five years. Let's take a vote over here. Audience vote. Smart or dumb? How many of us are smart? Smart question. Okay. And how many thought it's a dumb question? <laughs> so, um, so the professor here can finalize you one smart or dumb neutral party. I'll say it's a dumb question because you're not going to tell. <laughs> it's a dumb question, so you do get the t-shirt. Yeah. But you have to admit it's a dumb question. <laughs> Sorry? No, no, you just admit it's a dumb question and give you a t-shirt. So perhaps tomorrow you could say I don't want to use this bag, I want to use 
uh, a new bank from Apple or I want to use Google. So we might be even open to that. Because what we are essentially saying is this is raw data. Data can come in from any sensors. And we have the most important sensor, which is common sense. <laughs> so we apply common sense to the advanced sensors which everybody else is giving. So that was a good question. I think it was a smart question. It just qualified as a smart question. You have to walk it up. You have to, oh, you already got a picture. You can't get another one, sorry. Take it, yeah, over here on this side. Hey, I'll give you some dumb questions also. I have a dumb question. Okay, <laughs> first time. So, uh, I was just reading about you, and uh, <coughs> so I got to know this that you are more like every new and crazy idea that you get, you want to implement that, and like that. So, how many crazy ideas do you generate per day? Like, do you get it, Bernie? How many do you really work on? So I think I'll have Susanna answer that question. Susanna is my colleague. She works with me for a few months now. So how many crazy ideas do I get every day? So Vishal is someone, one that he doesn't roam in the system. Okay, so while he is walking around the office, he's throwing up crazy ideas on each of our desks. So let's do this, let's do that. So I think it's difficult to answer because it's quite infinite. So it my belief is that every crazy idea has to be tried and fail. But fail fast rather than you know analyze and uh, whole plan and do research. Ki idea chale ga ki nahi. Let's do it. Otherwise, screw it. So you don't have an average friend on which he drops crazy. In fact, I stand by saying it's a crazy idea. I never say it's a normal idea. Like the new crazy idea, we just discuss it. Employees should be paying us to work for us. I seriously believe it's a great idea because. <laughs> We are a company which is letting people exercise. We are, by the way, in our office, we give people organic food. They exercise, they get to meet amazing people, we give them all kinds of advanced gadgets, this, that. So I was talking to our team and saying, man, isn't this fun? Isn't this the life you want to live? So why should we be paying? You should be paying us to join us. So there is a food for thought here. So if anybody is interested, maybe we could consider some of you if you are willing to pay us. So yeah, we do get it. Oh yeah, finally. Crazy or intelligent? Dumb question. Hey, we need to give a big round of applause. A dumb question from yourself is very smart. You did not tell about the initial story, like when you were going through education or you would like to know, because that's the one where... Can you really think I went through education? Or the very, means, what happened in those, like... So I was not in class because I used to play one more track. I just got a little tiny. Then that the question paper will be other subjects. So they take the essay and carry that box. And clearly, I went to college not because of anything, because I was a national volleyball player. So the college said, I don't know if you still have sports quota. I don't know if you have right now. But the most important quota which I have got every day was sports quota. That's how I got into a college. I never studied in class because I never had to attend class because I was a player. So that's what I had fun with. I told you that right, some idiots came and gave me a job from. Sorry, I know he was part of that group somehow, but. <laughs> Yeah. We have three new t-shirts left back and we have only very limited time. So 